Congratulations on your purchase of a Raw Sovereign electric trimmer. Today we're going to show you how to install your trimmer and get it up and running in your side shop. Remove all of the parts from the box. Remove the two leg stands, remove the two crossbars, remove the two fabric holder bars, and there are four fabric holder rods. There's also a toolbox that comes with all of the screws, comes with a screwdriver, and a couple of Allen wrenches that you will need to assemble the electric trimmer. Remove the front protection plate and the fluorescent bulbs, and also then the main assembly of the trimmer out of the box. Check it over with the with the parts list to make sure that everything is included and there's nothing missing. Step one is to assemble the stand for the electric trimmer. In order to assemble the stand, you need to assemble the two side stands to the two crossbars. Crossbars have holes in the end that fit into the holes on the side stands. The lower one has two evenly spaced screw holes. The top crossbar has two, uh, several screw holes along the front of the unit. To assemble the stand, you will need eight screws. There will be four long ones and four short ones, and you will need the included Allen wrench. What you want to do is you want to install the lower crossbar first. Use the longer screws for the lower crossbar. Attach the first side, then move to the second side using the longer screws and attach that side. Then repeat the process for the top. The top crossbar will stick up slightly on both sides. Use the shorter screws to attach the top crossbar. Make sure that they're inserted completely through both side stands and into the crossbar. The finished stand should look like this. The next step is to attach the protection plates. There's a short lip at the bottom of the protection plate. Use the small screws to attach the protection plate to the crossbar. You want to attach them through through the protection plate into the top crossbar. Again, there's a small lip at the bottom of the protection plate that should be facing the back. The front of the protection plate should be smooth. Repeat the process with the second protection plate. Please note that some of the larger trimmers may have two protection plates where some of the smaller ones may only have one protection plate. Please check your manual to be sure how many protection plates you have for the length of the trimmer that you are assembling. The electric trimmer has a waste catcher that um, is supported by two, fa two fabric rods on each side of the unit. The, um, the fabric rods are attached with E-rings, there should be eight E-rings, and also with screws, Allen wrench screws, which go onto the end of the unit. There are, there are slots on the fabric holder bars that will hold the E-rings. Place the E-ring into the slot at the end of the bar and press firmly with your pliers. Right. Once it's in the end of the unit, Push it from the back through the front on the lower holes on the side stands so that the rear E-ring e uh, will hold it in place. Then place the second E-ring into the slot that is midway. Now repeat the same process on the second side. So that way both of the lower fabric holder bars are facing the front. Now we're going to place two fabric holder bars through the top slots. Again, place the E-ring into the slots at the end of the unit first. These should be facing the opposite direction of the lower fabric holder bars. So the two fabric holder bars on top have the screw holes facing the rear of the unit and the two on the bottom have it facing the front. 
We will now attach the two fabric holder rods to the front and back of the unit. Using the included Allen wrench screws, we will screw the rod into place. Put the screw through the fabric holder rod like so, and then screw into the end of the rod. Repeat the process on the other side. The top bar can now slide in and out. Now we need to attach the, the crossbar to the lower rods. The E-rings will hold the rod in place and enable it to slide back and forth. The next step is to attach the angle irons that will hold the fluorescent bulbs into place. Attach them to the rear of the crossbar using the included screws. Depending on which model you have, there will either be four or two of the brackets. The stand is now complete. You are now ready to place the main assembly unit on top of the stand. Using the remaining six long screws, so we're going to attach the main assembly. You need to have two people in order to assemble the trimmer at this point. All right, lift the main assembly unit and place it on top of the stand. All right, position it so that way the holes line up with the holes on the side of the stand. Using the included Allen bracket, Screw the three screws in on either side. Now we need to feed the crossbar through the waste catcher. In order to do this, it's easiest to flip over the fabric over the front of the unit. Remove the Velcro strip so that it is wide open. Then place it over the bar at the rear of the unit. Then carefully attach the Velcro all the way across so that it's sealed, the bar is sealed. Then flip the fabric over and under the unit, open up the Velcro strip on that side and attach it to the lower front crossbar. Again, carefully place the Velcro so that way it is sealed all the way across the unit. Even. The waste catcher is now completely installed. The last step is to install the light bulb. The fluorescent light has an opening on one side and there's a plug on the right side of the unit that plugs directly into the fluorescent bulb. Plug it in firmly and then snap the fluorescent bulb into the bracket Attached. If you have a larger unit, you may have two fluorescent bulbs that need to snap together. Your Royal Sovereign trimmer is now completely assembled. Thank you for purchasing and installing a Royal Sovereign electric trimmer.